मिड रेंज रिस्पॉन्स विथ कॉमनामीटर कास्केट सर्किट नो वी आर हैविंग डिफरेंट फ्रीक्वेंसीज कंपोनेंट लो फ्रीक्वेंसीज मिड फ्रीक्वेंसीज एंड द हाई फ्रीक्वेंसीज this article is related with what is the response of common ammeter amplifier common ammeter cascade circuits to the mid frequencies common ammeter form is chosen because is voltage gain is very high so let we to common ammeter circuit for transistor q1 with base with ammeter resistor re using the ammeter resistor as a biasing resistor so here the voltage between base and ammeter is vp e1 this is input port 1 and 1 where the input signal is applied the load resistor for q1 is rl transistor q2 this is also common ammeter configuration collector of q1 is directly attached with the base of q2 again the by single resistor r e of q2 now this is base ammeter potential of q2 this two to port r l of q2 and here the total supply vcs is given and output is taken here this is common ammeter two stage amplifier is a direct coupling because uh, collector of q1 is directly coupled with the base of q2 like as shown here there is no intermediate element using for coupling we will discuss the stage by stage of this multi stage amplifier multi stage mean two stage amplifier this is our first stage 
in which the transistor is Q1. Because we are working at the mid frequency, so there is no transistor, capacitance appears. The equivalent circuit is now we are trying the equivalent circuit for transistor Q1. HIE input impedance IB the base current which is flowing port 1 and 1 RE emitter register current source current generator GMVPE1 Q1 transistor IC and RL, the port 2 and 2. The input signal is here. From here the current is flowing GMVPE1. From here IP, both current passing through RE. So input voltage is the sum of HIE into IB, this is one voltage plus to RE both current are flowing IB and GMVP E1 so this is the voltage equation Now what is VPE1? This is the voltage between these two points. VPE1 is current into the impedance. So substituting it here. IPRE is taken as common from the last two terms. We know the definition of GM, mutual conductance or transconductance. Because HFE is greater than greater than 1, so one is neglected from here. Again HFE upon HIE. This is GM.
now vi upon ib this is our i1 input resistance of the circuit so with the presence of the base bias sorry bias resistor re input resistance is increased how much it is increased by 1 plus gm into r e times similarly the second stage for the second stage input resistance can be calculated r i 2 r i 2 as it is it will be very very large as compared to the r l now when the two resistance is in parallel the equivalent resistance come closer to the lower value so r l will be the effective now we coming the current gain for the mid frequency current gain is ic o i b it is h f e ic is written as gm into this gain is current gain into the resistance gain so current gain is hfe r i1 substituting this value now hfe upon hie is gm is gm so here the voltage gain is less because for single stage the common emitter without a meter resistor was minus gm into rl but the presence of re reduces the voltage gain and it is because of r e gives a negative feedback circuit it provides a negative feedback so that's why the voltage gain is reduced very much so under the approximation voltage gain is minus r l upon r e now this becomes the independent from the transistor parameters negative sign mean output is out of phase with the input okay thank you